Welcome to the Photography BB Artistry Actions Photoshop tutorial for our From Dusk Till Dawn Photoshop action. This action is designed to magically transform your photographs into a sort of neon noir or cyberpunk effect. Now this particular action works only with Photoshop versions CC English versions and works well with images that are of high resolution so a minimum of 4000 pixels along the short edge of the image. This effect also works very well with nighttime photographs. They could be nighttime portrait photographs or nighttime cityscapes. So anything with sort of high contrast, bright lights and dark darks. So let's take a look at how to use our brand new From Dusk Till Dawn action. If you aren't familiar with how to install actions into Photoshop, please check out our separate video tutorial, which demonstrates how to install actions, brushes and patterns into Photoshop. Now, once you've installed the From Dusk Till Dawn action, you can locate that in the Actions panel of Photoshop by going to the menu window, Actions, and you'll see a folder once you've installed it called Photography BB From Dusk Till Dawn. So we can toggle that open, and inside we have four different styles of effect here. So we have three sort of artistic styles, which are the illustration style, the painted image style, a comic book image style, and the original image, which would have no artistic effect, just the original photograph uh, with the sort of cyberpunk type of lighting on that image. So let's take a look at the illustration style, and I'm going to actually work with an image of a cityscape here, this one right here. And all we have to do is click on the action itself and click play. Now, depending on the speed and specifications of your computer, this action may take a few minutes to complete. All right, so there we have it. Now, this dialog box, we can close it out of the way by clicking stop or continue. And let's close the actions panel out of the way here as well. And we are left with this beautiful looking image here and two different layer groups here. So we'll first actually take a look at the image itself. So I'm going to zoom into about 50%. And you can see the image has this very nice sort of illustrated uh, artistic effect to it that really completes the overall look of this particular effect that we're working with here. Now I'll zoom back out so we can go see the full image close to the full image here, and uh, we will have a look at the different things that we can do to further customize the look of this. So I'm actually going to begin with the style options layer group here. So if I toggle this open, we have a few different styles of this effect. So we have cinematic styles one through five here, all the way down here. And what we can do is we can toggle these on and off to see the different color effects that it has on the image. So toggling this one off, there's our original image and there is the cinematic style number one. Now we can go and look at the other options. We can look at number two for a different look here. We can also look at number three. That one's pretty cool. Number four is a very purple look on number four here. And number five. And number five tends to be a more uh, bluish type of look to it as well. So depending on your image, there may be one that is most suitable. I happen to like either number two here or number one. Oh, that's a tough choice. Uh, when you have a tough choice like this, one of the things you can do is turn them both on and let's reduce the opacity of cinematic style number one uh, down to, let's say around 50% and we can have a combination of those two together. So there we have that's Cinematic Style 2, and here we add in 50% of Cinematic Style 1 uh, for this type of look. So there's a number of different ways you can combine these, obviously, here. So let's go with that for now. Okay, so once you've decided on which style that you like, we can close up that layer stack here, and we can open up some tonal options. And these are completely optional. You can see they're all turned off. The visibility is all turned off. Uh, but we can do a number of things. So if the image is too bright, we can darken it by turning the visibility of this layer on right here. And it has a minimal effect. And of course, with all of these, you can double click on the adjustment layer icon right here to bring up 
further customization control. So we can darken that lower, change the offset, this any way you like, adjust the gamma correction, and you can have a lot of fun playing with these different layers. So I don't need to darken this image, I'll turn that off. Uh, you can also do the opposite, which would be brightening the image. So you can add that effect. That actually looks pretty good. We might leave that on. Uh, Shift hues is a very fun one to play with. So if we turn on the visibility of that and double click the adjustment layer icon right here, we can actually play with the hue slider to shift those hues differently if we want to. So if you prefer a different color palette, you can actually go with something else like this. And there's a lot of fun you can have playing with this one. That's kind of a cool look too. So we'll close that up. I'm going to turn that one off just for now. Uh, we can adjust the vibrance as well. So if we turn that one on and double click the adjustment layer, we can strengthen the vibrance even more. We can adjust the saturation. If we really want to push those colors, or we can even pull it back a little bit for different effects. So we'll close that up. Turn that one off, and lastly, we can add some more contrast to the image by turning that one on, double-clicking that, and of course, you can adjust the curve any way that you like. You can see the effect there. It's pretty cool, but I'll leave it off for now. So as you can see, this action is extremely easy to work with. A few options to play with here, a few different style choices, and that basically completes this effect. I hope you have a lot of fun playing with this From Dust Till Dawn action. So enjoy it with all of your nighttime images. Works great with nighttime portraits and images with lots of uh, darkness and bright lights in the image. So have lots of fun experimenting and happy photoshopping.